Hey, welcome to the Keeping It Real Local Show. I'm here with a very special guest. This guy's done it all from captain of the Colony Olympic team to just receiving a certified master chef. It's my honor, my pleasure, Richard Rosendale. Glad to have you here. Absolutely, thank you. It's my pleasure as well. So it sounds like you had a busy year this year. Uh, this year has definitely been, you know, one for the record books for the Greenbrier. The amazing thing is, is uh, you know, where the Greenbrier was at a year ago and the positive change and the energy and momentum has really carried us through a remarkable year. Uh, we've opened up several new restaurants. Um, you know, years ago, opening up one restaurant would have been uh, a really big deal. Well, this year, you know, we've opened up five new venues. Uh, we've uh, also have had the first year of the PGA, the Greenbrier Classic, uh, which is a which is a great tour event. Uh, we've opened up a hundred thousand square foot casino. Um, and it's just been a remarkable year. It's been very exciting to be part of it. Well, it sounds like a, a tremendous amount going on. Can you tell us about this? So this brigade you've assembled is just is, is growing. Uh, you know, part of uh, you know having a successful uh, organization is without question the personnel. Uh, the Greenbrier has been very fortunate over the years to have some some incredible uh, key team players uh, within the culinary division. You know, we've got. Uh, culinary Brigade that's uh, over a hundred strong. Uh, we've got a remarkable team and uh, it's been a very key part of our success. The Greenbrier Apprenticeship Program, I mean, I don't know, those of you really don't know, this this place is a culinary mecca and this apprenticeship program is, is bar none. You know, the brand or the name of the Greenbrier uh, has always been synonymous with quality in, in food and beverage and has uh, for years kind of been like the Yankee Stadium of, of kitchens. Uh, it's really kind of had that kind of magic attached to it. Um, but another key draw is our apprenticeship program. We have 350 graduates that have come through the program. Uh, this year, with the candidates for next year, we will have the, the largest uh, apprenticeship enrollment that we've had in the last 10 years. Uh, so we're very excited as we look to the future and uh, really kind of recycling talent back into our, our brigade. and. Uh, you know, that's another key to our success. Well, I know there's been some, some phenomenal chefs come through here that have graduated the program, uh, Voltaggio. You, know, you, without question, can flip through our apprenticeship manual and see some of the incredible talent that has come through this, this program. Um, you know, every, everywhere from um, corporate chefs, uh, Lawrence McFadden, who was the corporate chef for the Ritz-Carlton, uh, just a few years ago, um, Russell Scott, another certified master chef, uh, and even not just the apprentices, but also just the waves of talent that have come through here uh, in in the executive chef position, sous chefs, uh, you know, John Johnstone, mm. um, Peter Timmons, mm -hmm. uh, uh, definitely someone I have a tremendous amount of respect for and have, have trained with for for many years. Uh, you chef know, Rod, Hankey. Chef Hankey, Rod Stoner. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. So, you know, for me to come back and really help write the future of the Greenbrier, the next chapter, it's really a privilege, you know, to come back and do this when you think about the history uh, and the foundation that has been really laid uh, uh, year, for, for many years. You know? Well, I know you've done a lot this past year. One of, one of the things I think is amazing is the farm. The 40 acre farm that you dropped out here. We, it is a 40 acre farm. Uh, we have over 60 varieties of vegetables. Uh, the volume that comes off of that farm is remarkable. I mean, you think about what it takes just to provide food for a small restaurant. You can imagine a 700 room hotel uh, with large uh, banquet volume. Uh, just to give you an idea, just with one particular variety of vegetables, that being tomatoes, we have about three tons of tomatoes come off of the farm every week. Um, that's a lot of, yeah. lot of tomatoes. 3,000 tomato plants that we had in the ground. Would you have plans for next year to start the Greenbrier Cattle Company? And I think, you know, when you look at sustainable restaurants, you know, a sustainable resort, you know, a resort that really recycles money back into the community and um, also the guests it's a win-win situation we grow our own food and uh, support the community and our guests get an exceptional fresh product well chef rosendale 
It's a pleasure to see you again. I look forward to uh, next year. I know you got the cheese program started. You got, I mean, cheese charcuterie. program, charcuterie. <laughs> yeah, really. We could talk all day long about all the exciting things here at the Greenbrier. Um, I encourage people when they have the opportunity, uh, look us up online, uh, come visit the hotel, and uh, you know the proof is in the pudding.